Report on Military Situation in Syria and Iraq for the Week On 23 October, an airstrike was carried out on the government-controlled Al-Qaeda district in the city of Deir ez -Zer, killing 14 people and injuring 32 others. Loyal opposition sources claim that the incident occurred as a result of an erroneous attack by Syrian or Russian aviation. According to sources loyal to the government, the air strike was caused by a coalition led by the United States as a warning to the Syrian government made within the current conflict east of the city of Deir ez -Zer. On October 23, the second Turkish military convoy entered the Syrian province of Idlib. According to local sources, the convoy consisted of up to 50 units of equipment. Turkish pro-government media claimed that Ankara is going to create at least eight garrisons in the area. On the eastern bank of the Euphrates River, the Sanda National Defense Force cleared the village of Tabia, and also advanced to the Al Ashra settlement on the west bank. Tension fighting broke out near the T2 pumping station near the border with Iraq. San Hezbollah launched an offensive on the positions of Ijil with the aim to once again try to recapture this strategically significant object from the terrorists' group. During the fighting, government troops destroyed 10 Ijil Altsi and two cars. Ijil stated that one combat tank and two SA vehicles were destroyed by the militants. In the evening of October 24, the United States supported STS accused the SAV attacking the STS detachments on the eastern bank of the Euphrates River near the city of Deir ez -Zer. In Iraq on October 24, the Department of International Relations of the KRG issued a statement in which it requested the establishment of a ceasefire with the forces of the federal government, promising, in turn, to freeze the results of the referendum on independence. On October 25, Kurdish loyal sources stated that the SDS entered the territory of the Izrak and Jarnaf oil fields on the eastern bank of the Euphrates River. The VTS troops continued to further advance along the road to the settlement of Al Buziriya and entered the village of Jadid Ukadat. In the border area of Syria and Iraq, the T2 pumping station was still under the control of IGIL despite new attempts by the CAT to occupy this facility. The STS created the Military Council of Idlib, a unit for conducting military operations in the province of Idlib. According to reports, the council's goal is to conduct military operations against the Turkish and Syrian armies, as well as attempts to establish control over the province of Idlib. On the same day, in the city of Deir ez -Zer, released from the Ijil industrial zone in a large part of the Hasrat district, district,